So I picked up a pretty cool little flea market find yesterday, a 24 pack uh, collector's edition of the Coca-Cola sponsored German soccer team. Uh, living in Germany right now and usually I ship all of my goods to the States so what I decided to do is drain the cans. Nice little cans, got every, every player on there, 24 in total. Uh, not bad but really heavy and you have that danger of an exploding can or, or God knows what else. So I got on YouTube and I started looking at all the cool ways to drain a can. Everyone wants to use screws and nails and can openers, uh, just a lot of unsafe ways to possibly damage things and just just not not very effective. You ended up with a lot of leftover soda inside. Uh, nobody was doing anything about that. So what I'm going to do is show you the method I came up with. It involves power tools, of course, and. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So first you sit it down inside of the sink. I say in the sink because this is a messy process. That initial kick is something else. Uh, one thing you're going to try to avoid is drilling any holes through the expiration date or the, the sell-by date. Um, and uh, because collectors do love to see the, that for, for whatever reason. Um, so my first hole I'm going to put right here above the Sell by date. I'm just going to take a basic drill, a uh, little, little cardboard over it just to keep the, the nastiness from kicking back on me. And uh, I'm going to go to this here. So we'll light it up and we'll go through. Go. We got some of the pressure off. And that's your first hole. Like I said, it is pretty messy. It loves to kick up, but uh, saved it well above the date there. Your second hole, you're going to come as close to the edge as possible while still facing down. You don't have to worry so much about kickback now because the pressure is off. There you have one closer to the edge, one in the middle, and you can drain it pretty easily. It's a slow process. I'll, I'll catch back up when it's time to do the next step. All right, so we're back. All the soda's drained out. This is the part where apparently most people just kind of shake it a couple times and throw it up on a shelf. Uh, that doesn't isn't sufficient for me. So what I plan to do is rinse it off, and if you place the water on one hole. Drop it down here so you can see the bubbles coming out. Place it on one hole, the other hole lets the air out. You would put water inside of the can again. This does double your, your time prepping a can, but I'm not all about having weird deposits of soda all inside of these cans for somebody to display. Get it pretty cool. Um, shake it up a little bit. Make sure all the soda is cleaned out and drain it all back out again. So we're basically done with all the water in there. There's a few droplets left. You can't quite get every bit of it out, unfortunately. There's no, no safe way to do that. But now we don't have sugars or aspartame in this case, I suppose. Uh, building up inside of your can, you're not going to have a problem with bugs. An overall better better situation. So now you're just going to take a paper towel, really lightly dab it off, make sure there's no water built up on it. It's very nice and shiny. Your holes are nice and clean and round, no weird punctures and side spots or anything like that. Um, and it's ready for display. I'll just put it with the rest of the set and continue draining. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.